So in the last video, we left off at this question and notice that I've changed it from 15 to 5 for this number here. So let's start off by finding A2, B3, C2, and D5. So like I said in the last video, I mentioned that you should use a let statement. That's what we'll do first. So let V equals A, let W equal 2B, let X equal negative 3C, let Y equal 2D, and let Z equal 5. So now that we have this, we have to make a new equation for, uh, for this question with relation to, uh, to uh, these, these let statements. So what we get is we get v plus w plus x plus y plus z all to the power of 16 because it's similar to this equation. We just changed these change these numbers just so that they're equal to these uh, these new variables so now let's find let's find this with relation to these variables so what we're actually finding is we're finding v2 uh, w3 x2 y5 and z4 now where did I get z4 remember that everything has to add up to the final n. Well, our n is 16. 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 5 equals 10, plus 2 equals 12, plus 4 equals 16. So that's where we got our 4 from. So now that we have this, we can use that formula that we have from here to give us a coefficient. So 16, 2, 3, 2, five four and this will give us beach balling and this will give us three hundred and two million seven hundred two thousand four hundred but that's not all all you have to do now is we have to change the letters back to normal change letters back to original. So we found the coefficient. So let's just write that down first. We found the coefficient as 16, 2, 3, 2, 5, 4. But we have to change all these letters back to the original. So back to the original, we get a to the power of 2, 2b to the power of 3 negative 3c to the power of 2, 2d to the power of 5, and 5 to the power of 4. Now that that's done, what you have to do is we'll just have to draw out all these, all these numbers so that we can, we can uh, simplify this equation that we have here such that all these numbers are are out of the brackets and we have and we group all the group all the variables in one so instead of explaining we'll just write out the final answer so the final answer is we take out a one from a2 so it's one to the power of two we take out the two from two b two b to the power of three so two three take out the negative three out negative 3 to the power of 2, take out the 2 to, 2 to 2d, or 2 from 2d uh, to the power of 5, we get 2 to the power of 5, and 5 to the power of 4 is just 5 to the power of 4, it has no variables, and what we're left with is a2, b3, c2, d5, and that's what I mean by grouping all the variables into one, and that is our final answer. You can expand that out to find out uh, the the real number, but then you could pretty sure that for most profs they would let you keep it into this simplified form because, well, it really sucks. You really need a calculator to calculate this out. But the, other than that, please rate, comment, subscribe, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. And I'll see you guys again next time for whatever we're gonna.